Should you build or should you buy a affiliate blog or affiliate website? Uh, in today's video, we're gonna go through the top three reasons to build and also the top three reasons to buy. And then we're gonna to come to a decision at the end. Let's get into today's video. So if you're new to the online affiliate uh, marketing and online affiliate content website space, then this video is really gonna be interesting for you. If you are experienced or you have your own blogs already, uh, then again, this video should be a bit interesting because you can pick my mind and see what I would do right now in today's current environment in terms of buying or building. And hopefully at the end, we'll be able to make a confirmed decision on which one is the best. So let's get into the top three reasons. So if you're thinking about building or buying a website right now in today's environment, then there are lots of things for you to take into consideration. For example, what niche you're going to build or buy in, the strategy that you're going to use to grow your blog, the a affiliate or advertising components that you're going to use to increase your revenue, whether you're going to use social traffic to make sure that you diversify against organic search, your EEAT or expertise, experience, authoritativeness and trustworthiness, which is kind of Google's way to make sure that you're a real person and you actually know what you're talking about and a whole variety of different strategies that you're gonna to have to know and to need to grow and have a successful uh, blog or maybe a small portfolio of, of multiple blogs. Now here are the top two reasons why in today's environment you potentially should build from scratch. And the first one is, and it's probably kind of one of the most simplest ones, is you get to choose which niche you go into. So of course, if you're building a site from scratch, you can get to purchase the domain, uh, you get to do your research behind every single niche that you're interested in, and you get to pretty much build out exactly the niche that you want because you have direct control over which niche you go into. Now this can sound simple, but of course, when you've been building or buying over many, many years, like I have, then you can definitely start to see there's a trend between building from scratch in niches that you actually have experience in and you care about, as opposed to buying something that maybe you don't have as much experience in, or potentially buying something that is very, very specific into a sub niche of a particular category or theme. So for example, in a DIY niche, uh, I used to have a saw website and it was very specific in terms of, of what I could write about because it just mentioned band saws, for example. So I could only talk about band saws for this affiliate blog, which after a while, there wasn't much to talk about because there are there only a certain amount of band saws or chainsaws that you can write about. So number one is you get to direct which niche you go into and which sub silos you go into, which can make a big difference, especially as you start to scale your blog. And number two, and really important if you are building from scratch, is you get to learn from your own mistakes and those mistakes don't cost you a lot of money. So think about a new site that you're building out and maybe you're about three months in and you've made a few mistakes in terms of your keyword research or potentially your themes or plugins or a wide variety of mistakes that anyone will make um, as they are starting to scale their own blog. If you've built from scratch and if you make those mistakes in the short term, so maybe the first few months, they're not going to have a big difference in terms of the trajectory of your site because of course you learn from your mistakes, you continue to learn and as you get to month 6, month 12 and month 18, you've kind of fine-tuned your expertise and those mistakes have now turned into a success blueprint that you can use to build on. Now of course, if you buy a site and it's making quite a lot of revenue uh, and it's got quite a lot of traffic and you make similar mistakes in the first three months, then chances are your traffic might decrease, uh, you might lose revenue and all in all, you probably would see some big decreases across the entire website. So definitely number two in the debate against building or buying is building a site and making mistakes kind of go hand in hand, especially from the beginning. So if you do that, you get to learn and be more successful in the long term. Now the third reason, and probably the most insightful reason, especially when you're, you're starting from scratch, whether you have a lot of money or whether you have a limited budget, is you get to spend more money on growth. Now let me explain. So think about it, uh, if you purchase a site and it costs you somewhere in a five figures, mid five figure range, so 30, 40, 50K, or even 10 to 15K, right? somewhere in that five figure range, you have to spend all that money on, on purchasing the website, which means you are down whatever the cost of that site is. Now on the flip side, if you build a site, you get to use pretty much all of that revenue that you that you would have spent on buying the site, 15, 20, 25K, whatever it's gonna be, and you get to grow your asset from the ground up and use that money to invest in content, to invest in links, to invest in your site structure. And essentially you have control over all of the money you spend on the site because you've built the site from scratch and every single dollar goes into something that you've controlled and you've decided that that's the right thing to do. Now on the flip side, if you pick up a site, again, in the summer in the five figure range, of course it could be in the six figure range, but if it's first starting out, it'll be somewhere in the five figure range is more suitable. Then as soon as you dump your money in, you have spent all that money and you still need money for growth. So you still need money for content, you still need money for links potentially, and you also still need money to optimize. Unless you're gonna do it all yourself, which of course is gonna cost you your time, you're still gonna to have to have some type of growth budget. Now when you're building a site, because you have that budget left over, you don't really have to have an additional growth budget. You just have one budget and that goes into the site. So those are the top three reasons why building from scratch kind of makes a lot of sense, whether you're a beginner or even if you have one, your own successful portfolio. Now let's investigate the three reasons why I think buying a site may potentially be 
more beneficial depending on your circumstances. Now, number one, again, super important reason is if you're buying a site, then you skip any sandbox period that Google potentially has. Um, now, I've been doing this for a little while, um, many, many years, actually. And pretty much every single site that I start from scratch has some type of three, six or maybe even nine months period where most of the content after I published it doesn't really rank in the top of the SERPs. So think about page one, think about the top 10 page the top 10 results in page one. Uh, when you're building a site from scratch, Google has to find out who you are, if they trust you, whether you know what you're talking about. And in that period, they usually will not list you in the top 10, or maybe even the top 20 or 30 of their search results until you've proven yourself. Now that proof can take somewhere in the three to nine month range, which if I'm being honest, if you're building a site from scratch and you've spent a lot of money on content and links, there's definitely a lag between money put in and production and things coming out on the other side in terms of seeing traffic or, or revenue. So a big tick in the right area for buying a site is you get to skip that three, six or nine month period and you kind of hit the floor running. Now, number two, uh, this is really important for me, especially because I'm very much a data orientated person. Um, I love data. I love to see what makes sense and what works and what doesn't. So when you purchase a site, you get a year, two years or however many years uh, that that particular business and website has been in operation and you get to really see what has worked and what hasn't worked. Now, again, from a kind of growth point of view, getting to see the track record of a business, a website, uh, an affiliate site or, or a content site um, it really makes a big difference because you can optimize uh, based on past trends um, and historical growth. You can see what's working and what's not working. And that data is so invaluable. So a really big tick in the right direction of buying a site over building one is that you get data, uh, you get you're essentially paying for data, if I'm being honest, uh, you get to see what works and what doesn't, and you can optimize off what does work and grow in a really smart and strategic way. And that skill can sometimes be the difference between making a really big exit in the short term and flipping the website or seeing slow, steady growth and maybe just keeping the website for cash flow. Now, number three in the battle against building or buying a website is that if you buy a website, you instantly have a cash flow and cash generating um, business and you get to reinvest that cash flow into growth. Now, of course, this kind of makes sense because you put down a big, a big chunk of cash uh, in the actual business itself. So you're going to have some cash flow coming in, whether that's a thousand, five thousand or ten thousand dollars per month. With the history of the cash flow of the site from the, a few months ago, you can probably project what it's going to be doing in the next few months. And then using some simple maths, you can say, okay, I'm going to invest 50% of this in content, 25% in links, 10% optimizations, and whatever percentages that you see fit. Potentially you can keep some for yourself. It depends on what you're trying to achieve. Uh, usually when I'm, I purchase a website, I'm going to invest 100% back into the website because I'm trying to grow it and get back my cash as soon as possible and have a positive ROI in the shortest amount of time. Nevertheless, whatever you decide to do with the cash flow is obviously up to you. But I would say that is one of the biggest advantages of buying a site as opposed from building it, because usually if you're building a site, the first nine months, you're not going to make much money anyhow, regardless of how much money you put into it. And if you purchase a site, uh, pretty much on day one, you're going to make money from the, the, your asset, from your content site or your affiliate site. And that's a really big plus in terms of an investment and moving forward. So the question is, do you build or do you buy? Of course, it always depends. It depends on your circumstances. It depends on your goals and your, your return investment criteria. But here's what I would say. If you're a beginner and you've never done this before, I probably recommend building a site. Even if you build one for three to six months, um, don't make any money, but just have lots of mistakes. That is probably invaluable because you can use that success blueprint and put it towards something that you purchase. If you do go down the purchasing route and you only want to purchase websites, again, fantastic. I would recommend that you probably purchase a smaller site. So if let's say you had 100 or 200K to invest and you really wanted to hit the floor running, I'd probably say spend 10% of your budget on a website uh, or affiliate content site for sale first, just to understand how it kind of all works, the migration period, the inspection period, all of your due diligence and going through that entire handover process then spend probably six weeks to three months just understanding how to optimize the business after you purchase it and figuring out the nuances of all of the analytics, the tools, the plugins and the themes and pretty much everything that comes with running an online business. Once you have that down to an art and you start to really get a feel of what you're doing, then it will probably make sense to put down the five, six or whatever figures that you're going to invest in. And at least then you have some self-belief and you've gone through the process yourself. So it's not just kind of a stab in the dark. You have a deeper understanding of what you're doing and the small things will make will be a lot more streamlined. Anyhow, I hope that's been insightful. Um, personally, right now in, in the current position that I'm in, in today's day and age, I would probably only buy and purchase websites. And that's because I don't really have six to nine months to spend for a website to uh, go into the sandbox period. 
And that's because I really do value my time, so I'd rather spend the money and get the data. However, everyone's a little bit different. Um, initially, I definitely started with my own start from scratch. I learned tons, I made loads of mistakes, and it's only through those mistakes that I'm able to now only kind of invest in sites moving forward. Okay, so if you really enjoyed this video, um, please subscribe. These videos do take time to do, and I really would appreciate if you subscribe because then it allows me to create the content for you. That's it for today's video. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.